like Kerry, and she'd say, okay, this, this and this. It's like, okay, we need to have some more omega-3, so. And also the cells, the cells are clumping together as well. And this could indicate that the essential fatty acids are not as high as they should be. I'll try and get a white blood cell that's moving and we'll have a look at that. So when this is back to dark field, and you can see how this is probably about 5,000 times magnified. And then when I go to here, it's probably going to about 10 to 14. And then I'm looking through the cells here. So this is a better sort of picture. So if Kerry had, say, a deficiency of B12, this red blood cell should be, now that's probably a good size, okay? Now you can see this one's marginally bigger. So with the B12 deficiency, you get very little cells and then very big ones. So I can say, okay, Kerry, what's your diet like? Are you a vegetarian? And then we can tease that out. Uh, what else we got going on on there? Let's see if I can get a white blood cell. When you say brighter, okay, a red blood cell lasts for 120 days. So you're making about two million every second. So you've just made two million, and you've just made two million more. And then they're getting recycled. So the spleen's taking the dead ones out, or the ones that are damaged, and then you're making, so it's this ongoing process. Ah, oh, there's one. So here's a couple of white blood cells. This one here, and this one here. And they're sort of a little bit lacklustre, Kerry. They're not as, you know, there's... maybe you're getting over jet lag, I don't know. But you can see, if we watch them, if we watch them for a little bit, they'll start, this one's starting to come out here. And what they do is they move around the blood. So what I can see, if someone comes in and they're very ill, their white, their white blood cells will be stationary. So I can say, okay, they're not moving. And then I can say, okay, maybe we'll try echinacea or what other herbs and to try and get them moving again. But they're a good marker of how people feel. So if you're fit and active, usually your white blood cells will be accordingly fit and active.